This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. It's 6.16pm of Sunday, January 13th. This is episode 28 of the Keepsakes podcast. Thank you for listening. I am here at the war zone of... Uh, so I, or so I call it, the war zone of Icon 2019. Carlon has been with me since the AFA travelogue and now he's back. Actually, Team Kosaga is back. <laughs> yeah, uh, balik ngayon Kosaga. So, uh, me and Nari here have been together doing the hosting for Icon. So, it's na- it's an honor to uh, see you again, Jay. And uh, thank you for the listeners. And I'm happy that I would uh, be able to be part of your uh, channel. One thing about community events, kasi it's, it's really great for, uh, like this. Ano, this is, I consider this as a community event. Yeah. Kasi it, it brings ano, it, this is this is a, ano, eh, I've, I've seen this concept realized in Facebook on Facebook sa I believe that's uh, uh, Aqua if if not Aqua PH is Love Life Philippines so they, they're really planning for an anime idol convention ever since and it's uh, great to well I was surprised too kasi hindi, hindi lang sinako ikaw eh. yeah yeah great so over, overall, what what, did, what what do you what are your thoughts? Sa, hosting, sa, hosting everything. Ah, sa hosting. For me, hosting is just uh, ano, is ano lang naman, simple uh, entertainment lang. Parang whenever I see a host doing his uh, his lines, ang coffee siguro difficult lang dyan is yung lines na pwede mo sasabihin sa audience, pati yung how you're going to uh, project and how to you uh, catch the attention of your audience kasi ang ang goal mo dyan is parang you're going to introduce what's about the event ano meron sa kanila and you have to be always polite in every such way kasi uh, oh no hindi naman to parang typical stand up comedian or what because for all I know in the community they see me as a, a comedian type na host so as soon as ano, ginagawa ko the best ko para hindi siya magkaroon na magandang bad rep bad uh, feedbacks on people na ah yung host ganito of course we're doing our best na maibigay yung positive everything sa about sa event and for ourselves yeah. so uh, ayun so far uh, you've, you've done well this is the first first time mo mag host no? second time actually first, what was the first time that was way back 2015 in Benice Piazza mm-hmm. uh, ano siya isa valentine event but what what I did there was nag ano ko nag ano ko nun nag organizer ako then nag host na rin ako at the same time so knowing aside parang mas I see myself as an organizer than a host pero but they see me na mas malakas ako sa hosting because I've been catching a lot of people so I tried hosting again for the second time so ito yun well glad to know we have on, uh, we're on the same page kasi as an event professional eh been doing this stuff in business events for like 3 years now or so mm-hmm. eh, uh, of course there's still a lot to learn you know no? so I guess I'll be leaving uh, you muna to take a rest and for a job well done congratulations thank you very much I re- and it's an honor to be part in your podcast and your channel and please support Icon 2019 and also for the next year's hopefully sana next year magkaroon na Icon and I will be seeing you guys on the next year's event so thank you very much it's Carlon thank you yeah, definitely there will be an Icon 2020 kasi this is a community at large eh. although yung uh, audience natin is that ano, napuno talaga siya in a sense uh, but yeah looking forward to 2020 pag nakukupan na natin isang hall dyan sa Unilab uh, Bayanian Center mas malaki edi mas maganda mas maraming pwede tatamblingan hey, hey. yes yes kasi ang um, ang goal namin kasi is to uh, promote yung mga aspiring idols groups yung mga gustong maging isang I- ano, anime idol singer or isang maging isang oshi uh, this is your chance na to show yourself na if you have the singing talent the dancing talent and uh, everything as an idol this is the event that you're looking for so don't be shy show ano everyone is welcoming yung mga newcomers and everyone is welcoming din yung mga dating idols to perform here on on the this event. 
Alright. Okay. Thank you very much. That is Carlos Santos. And after a short break, I'll be announcing a list of events. Uh, I'll be getting back to the people here at Icon. This will be the first part of our episode 28. Keepsakes, the podcast. February is the Otaku Expo Hearts Day Special at the SM Mega Mall Mega Trade Hall. February, uh, the first weekend of February to 2 and 3. This will coincide with the Photo World Asia Exhibit at Glorieta. So maybe you'll be seeing me there, you'll be seeing me here because, you know, uh, I have to take care of my camera as well, papalini pa and all that. Next event will be at the end of the month, which is Otaku Fest 2019. That's from the 23 to 24 of February. And the location still not yet disclosed at the moment, but they've announced that they will be uh, mentioning it soon enough. They're just finalizing with the venue, uh, kung saan ba tong venue na ito. So we just have to be very, very patient. Next event will be Cosplay Carnival this March. You can get your tickets at SM Tickets already. And one reason that you have to go to Cosplay Carnival is AK Wiro. That guy has posted post-event freedom videos. I mean, sinong hindi relate na cosplayer sa moment na you'll go home, you're tired, you, you want to take your clothes off, freedom, freedom, all that. So... That's one thing, and many people will be asking him about that because they relate. I'm sure of that, 100%. April 2019 will be the Ozin month. Ozin Fest 2019 will be at the first weekend of April. That will also be at the SM Mega Trade Hall. And I guess that's about it. So April, May, June, June no le. So um, I'm not sure. Kung may event this May, which we talk about the Pinoy Otaku Festival. Same thing with, um, ito may different thing to with the the Otaku Fest, no? Uh, Pinoy Otaku Festival in Quezon City. They're still deciding or they're still finalizing kung saan venue ba to, but um, they're, uh, as they've announced, siguro I can estimate na 70%, 80% chances that it will be at the Robinson's Nobeliches Trade Hall. Just just beside Fairview Terraces, really. Magkatabi lang sila. And uh, probably may, ano? So, i-invite tuloy ako ni NCPH, ni Red Cloud to be there, be square, and I'll be seeing you there. Total, it's my third visit sa, sa, what do you call this, the far view of Quezon City. Good times. Now, uh, June. Yes, June is ToyCon season. End of June, ToyCon 2019. Hindi niyo ako makikita na nag-vlog dyan unless there's a WCS qualifier. And God, I wish there will be a WCS national qualifiers there. Sana ganapin na lang doon sa ToyCon 2019. I'm not sure with that. I cannot really um, predict what will happen. Kasi, ito pa nga Cebu qualifiers, eh, Otaka Fest, eh, pupuntahan ko. Sana naman may Manila qualifier, yung ano, yung nationals, Toy Contoni na din, para, you know, less gastos. <laughs> so, with that, the first half of if, uh, 2019, these events, I'm looking forward to it, you should look forward to it too. Keepsakes, the podcast. Alright, so, we have here, kind of introduce yourself, ulit. Uh, Jalo Aleya. I cosplayed as Anastasia from Idol Master Cinderella Girls. Rosho, spasiba. <laughs> spasiba. Ayan. Right, so congratulations on being Miss Icon, eh? Thank you so much. I didn't expect that, but I think everyone did their best and we got what uh, we really deserve from it. And I'm really, uh, I really had fun. Since I met new people and they did support, and we did support each other, even though uh, we're just uh, we've just newly met. Mm. So you met most of the IMAS community right here. Yup, I met the Picons. <laughs> yeah, you met the Picons and also the Peace. <laughs> yes. Yes. So how did you get introduced into idols? Well, 
I was first introduced uh, about idols when I watched the Idol Master 765 Pro. So, Favorite mo doon? Iori. Iori. So you're an Iori P, I'm a Yuki Ho P. Uh, Iori. <laughs> ah, I- Yuki Ho. Uh, not so much. <laughs> Ayan. So, yun, ano, so from there, you proceed to uh, 346, Cinderella yes. Girls. Yes. So that's how you met Anastasia? Yes. Mm. Okay. Um, aside from the aspects of, uh, say, the characters themselves, you've, have you delved deeper into, say, the voices behind them, the personalities behind them, the concerts that they did as part of the Idol Master franchise, so on and so forth? Have you delved in further into that? Well, I did, but my memory is bad, and uh, I love the character, and I've been playing the game mostly. So that's what I'm into. Is that uh, that game is Dearly Stars Arcade or the Cinderella Girls? The Cinderella Girls. Ah, Starlight Stage. Game. Starlight yeah. Stage. Okay, okay, okay. So most people, because they get introduced into Idol Master by the arcade, by the game, by the uh, Second Vision, Dearly Stars, especially Dearly Stars, uh, so on and so forth. So uh, moving on. Uh, what uh, I, I don't know if this was asked earlier in the Icon event, na, pero how did you get into uh, Anastasia again? Uh, kasi, uh, since nga napanood ko muna yung uh, first season ng Idol Master, nagustuhan kasi Anastasia kasi ang simple niya, pero may kita mo na hardworking siya, and she really tries her best. Tapos magaling din siya makisama, and... Yun, nagustuhan ko yun sa kanya and she's Russian. <laughs> Perfect. Yan. So, uh, aside from ano, pe- pero let's get back to 765, the OGs. How did you get to Iori? Ah, uh, kasi yung Idol Master Series, uh, pinakilala lang siya ng friend ko na mahilig talaga sa idols. Ooh. Yup. Uh, his name is Bien, so he introduced Bien me. Bien Austria. Tama? No, no. Bien Poison. Ah, that's, that's a wrong Bien. Okay, apologies for <laughs> Bien Austria. Kasi Bien, Bien, uh, Bien Austria is my, one of my good friends. Sige, let's proceed. So, so ayun nga, uh, inintroduce niya ako doon, tapos nag- nagustuhan ka si Iori, kasi kahit May makikita mo na medyo tinatawag siyang bitchy, pero makikita mo yung pagka-hard worker niya and yung sa performance nila makikita mo na nagsusumigap talaga siya and yun, cute siya so I really enjoyed their character. That's why best girl ko siya. And then may isa pa akong best girl, si Chihaya. Chihaya, why? <laughs> Kasi yung, yung komento siya ng Yako Soku. Aruko. So, nung napanood ko yun, nakita ko kasi na nagsastruggle talaga siya. Pero dahil nga sa support ng friends niya, uh, nagkaroon ulit siya ng courage para kumanta. Tapos na-touch talaga ako dun to the point na kahit ilang beses ko na siyang mapanood, naiiyak pa din ako. I think that's uh, after that, that goes uh, all around sa pati sa, for example, a Million Stars. Sa Cinderella Girls, si Uzuki, uh, of course, I, uh, I, I'm sure you've seen that. Um, pero yun, no? um, I, I think uh, that will be about it. Napa, napa, mapuputo lang discussion natin dito because I know this is a war zone. Uh, I've been told to get off the war zone. And well, looking forward to see you in, uh, with the uh, Pekins. Yup. Right, Thank you so again. much. Pasiba. Okay, it's pasiba, it's pasiba. Thank you very much. Uh, I am with Dreamcatchers. They're one of the two idol groups. Groups talaga, literally. Ah. Aside from uh, Extra... Hindi, may, may, ano, eh, this, is, this is the muse-focused idol group in Icon. And I will be talking to Ria. I have been... Uh, I've met her at AFA Singapore 2018. CG AFA Singapore 2018. And so far, parang, parang kailan lang. <laughs> Yan, so, ladies, good evening. Right, so uh, of course uh, I, we've been out of the war zone and everything has been set dito sa labas. We're just until 7 p.m. here, pero um, here's here's the thing. How's your experience at Icon, being a participant or being an idol? Um, uh, very, very overwhelming. overwhelming. Actually, we don't have any words to express. Kung gano kami ka thankful for Icon for allowing us to showcase yung Pinakita namin kanina, pero po watch our video on Facebook. We might upload it on our page, Dreamcatchers. So, follow us there. 
all that I remember of Dreamcatchers is yung uh, yung subunit nila na no sleep. Ay, wait, is that is no, that's that's not as that's not a Dreamcatcher subunit. Sorry. So, di ba may parang ano yung mga walang tulog? Ah, Night Shifters. Night Shifters. Shifters has been has performed at Kukura. Jam. Yeah, yeah Kukura Kukura. So, how how's it? Uh, hindi, hindi ko nga kayo natanong about that eh. Kaya, pero, really, you've, you've come a long way. Ah, thank you. Um, yeah, Night Shifters is actually yung um, subgroup ng Dreamcatchers. Uh, we performed last year um, at Jam Concert featuring Kukura Kukura and Hysteric Bullet of Garni Dilla. Tapos, magpunta ka pa ng Singapore to watch Garni Dilla themselves. Alright! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, you, we've been realizing uh, our dreams, and um, we've been, so yeah, technically we've been catching our dreams as people, so there will be a new generation of con-goers, even mga, ano, for example, the PDP is coming, the Love Life PDP is coming, Niji Kasaki School Idol Club, and the people were wondering, uh, how will they get, uh, how will they get through, how Diba kasi eh, kaya, ta, tayo eventually magiging veterano na din tayo eh. we, we, we will become the past generation it, it is a truth and facts don't care about our feelings so uh, in that sense how, what words can you tell the, the future generation of say mga idol groups um, just enjoy the music that the Love Life franchise gives us might it be Muse, Aqua or even PDP we kumbaga we can reintroduce Muse, Aqua Music, PDP Music. Then, umaga, let's just enjoy ourselves. Even if they don't know Muse, na maging fast generation na siya, or they would be hyped with PDP. Um, us as a team, really don't care much about the hype. We just want to cover what we want to cover. If it's a Muse um, love life song, then it's a Muse love love song. It's, if it's an Aqua, then it's, it's an Aqua. And if it's a PDP song, then it will be a PDP song. And of course, we're gonna join, or we're gonna thank our fans for all the support, even if it's from the first, second, or third generation um, love life friends. I, I, here's Anna, uh, realizing this uh, question I asked, isa sa mga napakagulo na fandom, pero solid yung fandom, is the Love Life fandom. I don't know why. It's, it's more of like, ano eh, it's more of like, I, feel, I felt na, parang, ayo, parang hindi ako bilang sa fandom, yet, it feels like I belong to this fandom. Parang sa ganun, it's like a catch-22. Sa inyo naman, no? do you, do you, have you felt something like that? Um, we have felt something like that, kasi... Maraming groups all over the world. I'm like, and just in the Philippines based, Philippines based groups, marami talagang love life franchise people. Pero because of yung parang music nila, their dances and performances, yung po talaga yung parang nagiging um, key para magiging united yung isang fandom na sobrang gulo. <laughs> right, so I guess that's about it. Um, any last words? Uh, Thank you po sa lahat ng supporters namin, guys. Any last words? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you po. Thank you for supporting Dreamcatcher. See you soon. Thank you for supporting Dreamcatcher. See you soon again. See you soon po. See you soon, guys. See you soon. Lahat tayo may oras. Oras lang iba yun. Oh, that... We're already given the support. Yeah, everybody can dream and that has been Dreamcatchers. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so we have here select uh, visitors from Icon and they've cosplayed the characters from Zombie Lansaga. Congratulations! Hi, Domo! Francesco Des! 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 For the ano, for uh, recognition's sake let's introduce yan, ito na pala eh yeah, let's introduce the people okay, ito, 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 ito agawin ko na sorry, sorry, sabi mo okay lang okay, stage pa tayo eh Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. 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 Ok
new experience. This is my first time here. First time, oh, this is first uh, anime idol convention. First time with this by Nihal. Oh, yes. Uh, All right. I used to walk around uh, around your parts, but I didn't, I didn't know that it was a hall, a convention hall. So. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so far, the ambience. Can uh, how, what can you tell about the ambience? It's very spacious. It's very cold. I like the atmosphere. Oh, We're in. You can freely roam around. Uh, unlike the other events where you're restricted from movements, here you can express yourself. You can sit anywhere actually. Mm, partida, that is one of the small halls. Yeah. And uh, hindi pa yan yung ano, JY Campus Hall, and, uh, yung Mariano Tan Hall. Hindi pa yan yun. That's the smallest hall in the Bayanian Center. Siguro nga kasi, parang since bago siya. So, he, parang a few people just gave it a try. And parang meron kasi siyang target niche, which is yung idol idol fans. Napakal- napakalit na rin. Considering na ang dami natin mga love livers here sa Pilipinas, parang lit pa rin ng uh, fandom. What do you think? I think the others are just at their homes enjoying the series. But if they, been, if they are given a chance, they would be here. Mm. Alright. So, how did you get introduced into idols again? Because of my friends. <laughs> how did you get introduced? How did you, how did you get you introduced into idols? Idols. I think like me, Love Live. Uh, Love Live was first. I started with Love Live and AKB48, I think. Mm-hmm. Pero I'm not that in depth. Uh, I'm not that level, unlike today. Because, because, because my friends are very lasan, you know. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> Um, just just for context, naglalasunan po to ng mga cosplay plans. Uh, yeah. So eventually, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very exposed in my circles. Uh, they're part of my circles actually. So um, you've, in case, since you've delved into love life, uh, you didn't go deeper with Idol Master and anything like that? No. I did. You did, you did, you did. I watched Cinderella Girls. How was it? First season. It was good. It was I wanted to watch more, but I didn't have the time. <laughs> I was busy with work. Uh, busy. Uh, we're all busy with work. We're working class students. Uh, working class students. Jay! Out! Get out! Working class people, rather. So, you know, really enjoyed the discussion so far. And thank you for your inputs. Yeah, thank you. Yes, again, you can now take rest and have dinner. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right, so again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Precious to this! Precious to this! Precious to this! Thank you very much. That's just some of our visitors here at ICON. Alright, so I have here yet another visitor here at ICON 2019. Dan, how are you? Good. Uh, not so well rested, but I was hyped because of the event. What's your favorite part of the program? Favorite part? The performance of Ali Pro. Ali Pro, pa rin. How, yeah. how, how? What made you? What made it your favorite? They were, they were able to pull off the the song, the performance for Miracle Wave. For Miracle, Miracle Wave, uh-huh. yeah. Uh, one thing I noticed about Ali Pro, sabi nga nila, eh, they did it. Eh, yung middle parts ng kanta, they just made up the cheer dance uh, something uh, segment of it. So, binuhat nila sa KB, right? Right, right? Yeah. Right. How was it? How was it? I was actually surprised kasi it's not part of the, ano, di ba? Oh, it's oh. not part of the original performance. And uh, it's amazing how they were able to do that in uh, eh, sobrang bilis, sobrang smooth nung pagkakabuhat nila kay KB. Kasi nung interview nila after nung performance, so medyo na- naalangan si Kibi bubuhati ng ibang mga members. So, but hindi mo makikita yun. So doon mo makikita yung, uh, yung level ng effort sa yung professionalism nila when it comes to practice and then the performance part. It all boils down to say adrenaline rush. Yeah. So, ayun, ano, um, anything that you want to say uh, to Icon? Mm. Uh, uh, congratulations for your uh, first, this is the first, right? And I hope that there will be more uh, events in future years. Maybe more uh, guests and, uh, yeah, more guests. 
Right. Thank you very much, Dan, and looking forward to see you in the, in the next events. Yeah, sure. All right, so thank you very much. Bye, our Checky. Checky, <laughs> yeah. Hello. That's Tanchikon for you. That's that's a great mic. Congrats on your mic. Thank you very much. Tanchikon, you've been here for the whole day, right? Um, kinda. No, half day, half day. Half day, half day. So how, how was it so far? Uh, I dressed as a incognito person and a lot of people were still able to recognize me. It's not incognito. Do not lie to yourself. No, incognito, you didn't see me. You, oh, I saw you. No, I saw you. I, I was wearing I saw you. I realized it was you right away. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, was, I was wearing a V4 Vendetta mask. It's a very iconic mask. And I really like that character. Ano, Pinayro Sano friend. I'm very happy that people were still able to know it's me. Thank you, Yusha. Alright, thank you very much. And, uh, so, how, how, how's, how's Icon? Icon is very fun, especially when my friends. Project, nanalo sila, and I was able to see their performance. They were able to deliver very well, especially their lifting. Thank goodness, walang nasaktan. And they were really, really, sobrang ano sila, proud sila sa ginawa nila. And yeah, sobrang fulfilling ng ginawa nila. Pati ako, sobrang proud para sa kanila. I'm so happy for them. Congrats, Alice Project. I love you guys. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much, Lars Tanjikon. And gusan yung ba ng ara-ara? Go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, for the first time since so long, uh, since two years ago, I've met Sarapion once again here at the Bayanian Center. So, how is it? Okay, it's fun. It's just that we have a trash. Hip mic? Hip mic? No, I'm a hip pro. Ah, okay. They're a hip mic. They're a hip mic. They're not going to venture. Actually, I've heard about hip mic. It sounds great. Rappe. Hindi ko pa style. Rappe. Eh. Yung fandom din kasi ayoko muna. Okay. Okay pa kasi sukip pa. Sukip pa muna. Sukip pa kasi sa mga ako niyan. Oo. Wala pa masyadong ano eh. Wala pa masyadong magulo sa sukip pa fandom, right? Oo. Wala pa magulo. Ayan. So how was your experience inside Icon? It was really fun. Kasi ano. Actually, nalakson talaga ako. Anong na ano? Anong pinanglakson sa'yo? Kasi... Diba Suki Pro lang habol ko, so wala merch na dapat si Soshi. Pero biglang, ayun nga yung trigger, nag-perform. Tapos nahuli pa sa vlog ko yung, yung nag-upad yung view cosplayer. Yeah! <laughs> trigger na yan. Trigger na yan. Tapos napabili ako ng ano, ng Riona. Full <laughs> charm. <laughs> Alright. So yun, bagong lesson po. Bagong investment po ulit. Para kay Sakat yun. Yan. Any other notes about Icon so far? Super. Well, I'm not. Super saya talaga. I really wish na makaroon na it next year. For sure. Yan. I'll be going there as well. Yeah. Yan. Sige. I guess that's about it. Thank you, Sarap Yon, for this brief chit-chat. And see you in the next events. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Closing time. It's closing time. Right here at the Bayanian Center. We're going to somewhere else for our so-called off-kai, off-site kain, or it's rather off, off, offline kai guy, offline meetup. Pero I call it also as an off-site, offline kain. Yeah. So my experience with Icon is similar to what everybody is saying uh, during the whole ordeal of this episode. One of the memorable moments that I've had is when Aqua did that uh, cheer dance routine. Or Aqua, rather Ali Pro, did that uh, cheer dance routine. And don't uh, wow, because that is a story of how I perceive as an underdog. Kasi itong alliance ang ito, I coined that, I, I, I will vouch that I coined that term and they recognize me for it. And... Yeah, so um, that 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 brings tears to my eyes. Because I don't know the effort of these people, but what I know is that they are sharing their story every day, uh, every time there is an event. They they share how many lives, how many lives has Ali Pro, uh, Alice Project uh, has done. Seven. This is their seventh life. Pumpito na nila to. 
and really they stuck for they stuck uh, they stuck together for seven times most groups will either wither or dissolve but considering the fact that Alice Project the Alliance of Limitless Idols Connecting Everyone is a alliance of many local idol groups around the metro no doubt they have gone better stronger and and uh, that no? so with, with that well congratulations to Ali Pro and one of the people that na we talked kanina is the one uh, who's stunning Anastasia I still can't pronounce her name, but later on, I'll, I'll get back to that. And my overall thoughts on Icon being the first anime idol convention, it did very well beyond my expectations. And it did very well beyond my, my impressions. It, it did very well. So, uh, we're all in one community. We're bonded together and... It's, it's, it's one good company. It's really one good company. And it's not just me who's watching for that. There's everybody. Everybody who's talked about this earlier will watch for that. I don't know what to say further. But again, congratulations to Icon PH for a successful event. And I am seeing the people I've seen earlier. They're eating at one place. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. New episodes can be heard on anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. You can follow me on Twitter at Jayagonoy. More updates will be posted on facebook.com slash keepsakes by Jay. Leave your voice messages using the Anchor app available on Google Play and the App Store. Shout out to Lee Rose Bear for the music. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.